Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Monica. And join us as we experience the magical world of ancient Rome with its unique sights, smells, and tastes. Your journey will begin on the Via Appia and the Via Sacra. The Appian Way, which stretches from Rome to, Bun to Brundisium, is over 400 miles long and boasts mile markers, benches, and water troughs for your animals. Rome is built on seven hills, which are Capitoline, Aventine, Esquiline, Quirinal, Caelian, Viminal, and Palatine, which is where Rome's rich lived. Around Rome are two sets of walls. The inner walls are the Servian walls, and the outer walls are the Aurelian walls. The Servian walls were Rome's first protection and were built in the 4th century BC, while the Aurelian walls are 60 feet high, and they were completed in 280 AD. On your trip, you will get to know the Forum. The Forum is an outdoor area filled with numerous buildings. Like a downtown area, it includes markets, shops, and temples. There are appro approximately one million people living in Rome, and lots of pickpockets, so be careful when you, c when you travel through the Forum. In the Forum, there is a Basilica Maxentius, which are large, open, multi-purpose buildings for markets lo and law courts. When you visit the Forum, make sure to see the Curia, or the Senate House, and the Rostra, which is a large speaking platform. Another interesting attraction is the Trajan's Column, which has battle scenes around this 98-foot tower celebrating Emperor Trajan's victory in the Dacian Wars. It was completed in 113 AD. If you like sports, the Colosseum and the Circus Maximus are the places for you. At the Colosseum, 55,000 spectators can watch animal fights and gladiator competitions. Make sure to visit the Circus Maximus, which is an oval-shaped track. It can seat 250,000 people. Four different teams race. Down the center of the track is a barrier called the Spina. At the very end of the Spina, there are turning points called the Metai. After the Great Fire of Rome, Nero built himself a huge palace called the Domus Aria. This spot formerly was occupied by the houses of Roman citizens. Nero only used it for parties, however. There are 300 rooms made out of stone, but the inside is decorated with gems, ivory, and beautiful paintings. My favorite attraction is the Campus Martius. If you're lucky, you'll find the army training here, and you can always join in the games of foot racing, discus competitions, or wrestling. After you travel around Rome, you'll be pretty hungry, thirsty, and tired. In Rome, you can stay in an insula, which is a tall apartment building. You can also stay in a domus, a townhome in the city. This home will include triclinium, or dining room. A domus features small rooms in the front of the house that face the road. These are rented out as shops where merchants can display their wares. In Rome, our meals are all prepared in a colina, or kitchen. The meals are yentaculum, prandium, and cana, a three-course dinner. The first course is Augustus, or appetizer of eggs, vegetables, and seafood. The next course, cana, is meats, cooked vegetables, and wine. The last course, mesa secunda, consists of pastries and fruits. In these dining rooms, there are three triclinia, or couches, around the table. Romans eat a lot of bread, cheese, olives, meats, vegetables, fruits, and nuts, and love balsam, a drink of equal parts of wine and honey. Also eat at Papinae, which are wine bars where people eat simple street foods. These are often associated with the lower classes of Rome. However, you won't find pasta, sugar, or tomatoes here because we don't eat them in Rome. Another interesting site are the Roman bathhouses, originally called balnae or thermae. They were all public and would generally have an exercise area. The bathhouses would consist of a hot room, the caldarium, a cold room, the frigidarium, and a medium temperature room, the tepidarium. You had to pay to use the baths. There was underfloor heating, or hypocostum, and massages. People used strigils for scraping oil off themselves. The Pantheon is a temple to all the gods of Rome. It is the largest temple here, with a huge dome on top. The inside is absolutely breathtaking. There are three types of columns in ancient Rome. The first type of column is the Corinthian column, which has fancy leaves on the top. The next type, the Doric column, is plain and simple, and the iconic column has curly bits at the top and bottom. The many miles of aqueducts in Rome are an architectural marvel. They're able to take water and to bring it to different people around the city. Along with the aqueducts, the Cloaca Maxima of Rome is the world's first sewage system. The aqueducts and the Cloaca Maxima are able to effectively keep our drinking water clean and our cities free of disease. And if you decide you like Rome, why don't you stay? The government provides free grain, water from the aqueducts, and free gladiators.